This presentation examines t intervals for means using artificial data sets. So here's the example we're going to work with. Our goal is to construct a 95% confidence interval for the population mean mu given these statistics. And we certainly could answer this question by using our formula x bar plus or minus t alpha by 2 times s over root n. We could certainly answer it by using many tab and plugging in the statistics. We want to do it one more way, that is constructing an artificial data set that has those characteristics. So here's our goal. Construct that data set, and then we're going to use it with the t-interval command to find the appropriate confidence interval. So here's how this is going to work. First off, we're going to say random 42, since we want 42 numbers in our data set. We're putting them in C1. And then if we describe that data set, and you'll notice I put in some subcommands because these are the only descriptive statistics I'm interested in. You will see that I have 42 numbers with a mean of negative 0.111 and a standard deviation of 1.106. These 42 numbers are from a Z distribution, standard normal, where mu is 0 and sigma is 1. And you'll notice that our X bar is close to 0 and our S is close to 1. But we want them to be exactly right. So indeed, population mu is 0, sigma is 1, but we want x bar to be 0, and we want s to be 1. So we're going to need to curve these data set, curve these numbers, so that we get an x bar of exactly 0 and an s of exactly 1. Minitab does that for us. The command is center. If I say center c1, c2, that takes the data in c1 and transforms it so that x bar is exactly 0 and s is exactly 1. The way it would do that, it would subtract the mean and then divide by the standard deviation. Subtract x bar and divide s. So once I've done that, I want to take a look at the descriptive statistics to see if indeed I have what I want to have. And you will see the mean is exactly 0 and the standard deviation is exactly 1. So 42 numbers, mean of 0, standard deviation is 1. We want to transform that so that it has the required characteristics. So we would like to curve these scores to get x bar is 73.8 and s to be 18.7. Well, if s is 1, I can make s 18.7 by multiplying all 42 numbers by 18.7. Notice if I do that, the mean would be 18.7 times 0, or still 0. And then to get the mean, all I'm going to have to do is add 73.8 to everybody. That's not going to affect the standard deviation, but it will transform the mean, and the new mean would be 73.8. So there's our command. We're going to say let C3 equal 18.7 times C2 plus 73.8. That will take the data that's in C2 and transform it so that we have the mean and the standard deviation that we want. And I'm going to again look at the descriptive statistics I'm interested in. And here we go. 42 numbers in our data set. Mean is exactly 73.8 and standard deviation is exactly 18.7. So originally we were just given those statistics and we have constructed a data set that has those statistics, it has those characteristics. So now we're going to use the t-interval command, and the t-interval command will enable us to construct the appropriate confidence interval. So we are looking to construct a confidence interval for mu. We don't know what mu is. Our mean x bar is 73.8, so we would expect mu to be fairly close to 73.8. We are looking for a range of values, and we want the probability that that range of values captures mu to be 0.75, hence a, excuse me, 0.95, hence a 95% confidence interval. So we're saying t interval 95C3. And here's our solution. We're getting 67.97 to 79.63 is our 95% confidence interval. So the probability is 95% that this confidence interval captures mu. Next, I would like to check that on Minitab. So we'll pull up Minitab and we'll see if the answer we get from Minitab is the same as the answer we had using our artificial data set. So to do the T interval on Minitab with the statistics, we go to the Stat menu, Basic Statistics, and then we go to One Sample T. And I'll pull those numbers over. You'll notice there's three buttons, Samples and Columns, Summarize Data, or Perform Hypothesis Test. We're going to go ahead and use summarize data, and you'll notice I've put in the three numbers that we need. N is 42, X bar is 73.8, standard deviation is 18.7. Then let's go to options, 
And all I want to do is I want to make sure the confidence level is the one that I need. Confidence level is 95%. So we're going to say OK there, and we're going to say OK here. And there is our 95% confidence interval from you. 67.97 to 79.63, which agrees with what we had earlier from using the artificial data set. Let's take a look at another example. This time we want to construct a 99% confidence interval for the population mean mu, and we are given these statistics. Well, notice what's different. The sample size n is small. And recall that the central limit theorem applies if n is large or when n is small if the underlying data set is normal. And we have to use those conditions when we're determining whether or not it's fair to use a t-interval. So in order for us to proceed, we have to assume that this data comes from a distribution that is normal. So indeed, that's the assumption we're going to work with. So assuming that the data set is normal, we're going to go ahead and generate an artificial data set with those characteristics. First off, random C1 will generate 27 numbers with some mean and some standard deviation. Means probably near zero, standard deviation somewhat near one. We want the mean to be exactly 0, x bar to be exactly 0. We want s to be exactly 1. And the command that does that is center. When I say center c1, c2, now in c2, I have a x bar of exactly 0, and I have an s of exactly 1. We want the standard deviation to be 5.1. So we're going to say let c3 equal 5.1 times c2. Plus we want the mean to be 16.3. This will transform the data that's in c2 to have the required mean and standard deviation that we need in our artificial data set. And just to demonstrate that, we're going to go ahead and use the describe command to see that we have what we need. Again, n is 27, mean x bar is 16.3, s, standard deviation is 5.1. So at this point, we want to use the t interval, the t interval for the 99% confidence interval for the population mean mu. And again, we don't know what mu is. We know what x bar is. x bar is 16.3. We expect whatever mu would be, that mu would be near 16.3. Mu, in a sense, is unknowable, but what we're doing is, is we're going to create a range of values, and we hope that that range of values captures mu. So our command is going to be t interval 99. We put the 99 there to represent a 99% confidence interval. And what comes back? 13.573 to 19.027. So that is our 99% confidence interval for mu. We don't know what mu is, but the probability is 99% that this interval will capture mu. Okay, let's go ahead and check this on Minitab. So we've got to again put our numbers into the program. So we're going to hit stat then basic statistics, and we want those basic statistics to go in the one sample t. And you'll notice the numbers that we have here are the ones we had in our previous example. So we're going to go ahead and make the sample size 27. Remember, we have to assume that the underlying data set is normal, otherwise it's not fair for us to use a t interval. The mean mu is 16.3, and the standard deviation is 5.1. Once we've done that, next we're going to go to Options. And here's where we have to change things up a little bit. We are going to go to a 99% confidence level. Now regarding this, less than, not equal, greater than, we're going to use those when we do hypothesis testing. But we're not ready to use those yet. So we have a 99% confidence level. We have the statistics that we want, n, mu, excuse me, n, x bar, and s. So we can say OK here. We're going to get our confidence interval, which tells us that the confidence interval for mu, 99%, is 13.573 to 19.027. And notice what we had before with our artificial data set, 13.573 to 19.027. And that concludes this presentation.